Just before the Olympic closing ceremony on Sunday, U.S. skier Gus Kenworthy threw some shade at Ivanka Trump, who was leading the American delegation. He expressed pride for his fellow athletes and the effort they'd put in to qualify for the Olympics, contrasting that with Trump, whose presence he questioned, honestly, TF is she doing here, so proud of all these people, Kenworthy tweeted, along with a photo of the U.S. athletes waiting for the parade to begin. Everybody here has worked so hard to make it to the Olympics and have the opportunity to walk in the closing ceremony. Well, everyone except Ivanka. Honestly, TF is she doing here? The White House's decision to send Trump to the Olympics has been met with some backlash and calls of nepotism. Her role as an assistant to the president is controversial because she is President Trump's daughter and was advising him and possibly receiving confidential information even before being given an official title in his administration. Some people have wondered, then, whether Ivanka, as an unelected official, is really the best person to represent the United States on the world stage. Vice President Mike Pence led the U.S. delegation during the beginning of the Olympics and attended the opening ceremony. Trump has taken his place for the final stretch of the Games. The White House's announcement that Ivanka Trump would lead the delegation was met with some scorn on social media, why, said one Twitter user. What gives her the right to lead anyone? Another wrote that, that Ivanka Trump does not represent the USA. It is shameful for Trump's family to go, yet another wrote, not sure why you are our representative for the closing ceremonies. You were not elected, for her part, Trump seems very happy to be at the games. Before the closing ceremony on Sunday, she announced that it had been an amazing couple of days for her in Pyeongchang. I'm so excited to be here. It's just so incredibly inspiring. The White House justifies Trump's presence at the Games in part because of her love of winter sports. Trump is a skier and calls herself a winter sports enthusiast. President Trump tweeted a message of support for his daughter as she arrived in Seoul on Friday. We cannot have a better, or smarter, person representing our country, he wrote. Kenworthy's tweet on Sunday wasn't the first time he'd gotten political during the Olympics. Earlier that day he referenced Russian athletes winning a gold medal in men's hockey and tweeted that it was Russia's biggest win since the 2016 U.S. presidential election. Kenworthy is openly gay and, like figure skater Adam Rippon, has also expressed dislike for Pence during the Games. After he broke his thumb during a practice, he tweeted that, it does prevent me from shaking Pence's hand so. Silver linings, that thumb injury, along with a hematoma on his hip, may have contributed to Kenworthy's last place finish in his event. But a brighter moment occurred after the competition when he shared a kiss with his boyfriend that was captured by NBC and went viral. It was such a little kiss, his boyfriend, Matt Wilkers, said later. If I'd have known it was a big deal, I'd have made out with him, more to come.